What's up guys? This is Sohrab and welcome to my new tutorial uh, series for absolute beginners for creating games in Unreal Engine 4. What I mean by absolute beginners are people who have no experience in programming, game design or never have used Unreal Engine 4. So if you're one of these people then you have come to the right place. So the goal of this series is to have a person with no experience to get to a point where they have the tools necessary to create their own games with Unreal Engine 4. So let's look at the contents of this first video. So the introduction. We'll look at the introduction first. As I said before, I assume that some of you have no experience in the game design. So I'm going to briefly talk about what a game is and a little bit about the basics of game design. Then we'll look at our simple game. So in order to teach you the tools I talked about, we are going to build a game together from the ground up. So we'll look at a game, what it's about and how it looks like. And finally, we'll go over an overview of the process of creating games in Unreal Engine 4. So, game design. So first, what is a game? Basically, a game is an activity with rules and goals. The player or the players based on how many players there are must achieve the win conditions and avoid the lose conditions within the rules of the game so imagine a game like Pac-Man the goal of the player is to eat all the dots before the time runs out the win state of the game is when you have eaten all the dots before the time runs out and the lose state is when you get eaten by the ghosts that are chasing you. I actually encourage you to identify the rules and the win and lose states of some of the games that you have recently played or some that you are your favorites. Can you find any games which don't have any of these parts? You can leave a comment if you find such games. So in order to create a game first you need to design it and then you need to implement your design to have the game so what is game design it is actually the process of creating the content and the rules of the game that we talked about so it's the idea stage and then after you have the ideas you have to implement them you have to implement the design to have the game you implement the design with the tools that you have and this depends on a medium that you want to work with you can have non-digital mediums like you have board games you have physical games people play you know like a lot of sports like golf is a game or for example boards game board games like chess but we will focus on Unreal Engine 4 specifically and that is our tool for implementing our ideas and game designs so as an indie game developer I do both of these things uh, but keep in mind that they are not mutually exclusive so you don't have to do both there there, there are game designers who don't who can't implement games and there are people that implement the games and code them but can design games so before I leave the game design part I want to talk about one important point which is done in the game design stage but it's very important and will help you tremendously to be successful in creating your games and that point is creating a design document before you start 
it's all too easy to sit down start working on an idea and then later find that this is not what you actually planned for and you lose focus this in turn leads to an abandoned project and the sensation that you have wasted your time so therefore we make a very simple design document where we outline the goals of our game and all the important things we want in our game so let's take a look at our simple design document so our game that we will create together will be a side scroller the goal of the player is as I've written here is to get out of a level by touching a platform which opens the exit before the time runs out while avoiding the enemies here below I have summarized the important things uh, we want to have in this game this is kind of a very simple design document so you have the win state which is when we get out of the level within the time you have the lose state which is when you can't get out of the level within time and then we have the elements that we want to uh, develop in our game such as the player itself the level the enemy and the timer so I'm going to show you how the game will look like just to give you an idea so this will be our game when it's finished you can see that there is there are these enemies that spawn and um, if you touch them you basically go back to the place that you were in the beginning so you have to avoid these and then um, reach the platform that is at the top of the level you see I couldn't get past that enemy I can actually <laughs> finish my own game but yeah so hopefully we'll get past this guy yep so you have like a platform here as soon as we stay on it the exit exit to the level opens up and then we can exit the level as you can see so that's how our game will look like in the end so so now that we have our goals let's get into the question how we can create games in Unreal Engine 4 so the basic idea is this events and actions what I mean is that the basic structure of controlling everything in your game comes down to a series of events which happens in a game and the actions that are performed when those events happen so imagine you have an enemy in your level and you want your player to take damage when you collide with the enemy in that case you can de define an event when the player collides with the enemy and the action would be to reduce the player's health so with a combination of actions and events the actors in the world will do the desired behaviors that you have in mind so now the question is how do we do this how do we define the events and actions and this is a question that we will be looking at in the continuation of our videos and we'll answer them uh, in the next video that will follow this video um, we will set up our game that I showed you we'll start with the basics and then hopefully we'll get into visual scripting to make the to define the events and the behaviors so thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe and leave comments to the video with your suggestions and questions. See you next time.